happened. We have to take you to the vet. And that was horrible. It was horrible. I was so worried. And I was so worried, Olivia. I was so worried about my baby. So she's refusing to eat her diet food. She's refusing. Are you refusing to do it? Oh, my God, Mama, I don't want to. So we're going to have to go get you something. We're going to have to go get you something. What are we going to have to go get you? We're going to have to go get you some Parmesan cheese? Yeah, Astral told us about that trick. That's what we'll have to do. Oh, my God. Eat your food, Tina. Tina, eat your food. Tina, eat your food. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just here talking about travel systems. Everybody is getting... Astral, your cheese idea is good. We're going to have to get some for Olivia. She's not eating her food. Um, Because she doesn't... She's protesting. She doesn't want diet food. Um, So, yes, we will. We'll go get you some. A little bit of cheese. A little bit of cheese. A little bit of cheese. I got the kitty! I got the kitty! Oh, boy. He's like... She's like, oh, no. Oh, no, Mom. <laughs> We're not good. I wanted attention, but not like that. <laughs> it's not going to go over here. Oh, boy. Puppy snuggles in. All right. So here's the deal. Hey, Becky. So everybody's getting strollers. Everybody. Everybody. And who's anybody in the Reborn Doll community is getting strollers. And I feel left out. So, um. I'm going to go check out, there's like a thrift store here, um, and at some point this, in the next a few, you know, a little while, I'm going to go check out to see if they have a travel system that's used, because everybody wants to go walking, and uh, that's it. Um, I feel very left out, and I feel like I want to copy everybody else and what they're doing. So there's at least like two other creators getting travel systems and I'm getting upset because I'm left out. We'll see. I don't know. I've been looking online and there's, uh, be careful. There's like a lot of scams and they like make their store look like a legitimate store, but it's not. It's, it's, uh, some Chinese, uh, thing and it's not that store that they say that it is. It's just... And I'm like, wow, that's actually a really nice uh, stroller, but they're probably not going to send it to you. So I Google to see if they're reputable. All right. I just tried food now. I have to get a store. Ver a store ver I just tried I new food. Now I have to get this a store version. Oh, so was it like... Oh, I am having so much trouble with this dog. The Yesterday... It was so stressful all day in and out. She had these red, she was starting. Okay. The, this is what happened. I literally started to smell a rancid smell. And I thought that there was like a sewage leak in my building. And I'm, I'm not kidding. This is a true story. Um, and I was like, I was like, what is that strong sewage smell? And I, it wasn't like a normal fart. It was like sewage, like, you know, like strong sewage. And I'm looking over at her and she's just kind of relaxing and laying there acting like everything's totally cool. And it, it persisted all night long. It wasn't like, oh, just a little bit. And then it got better. It was like the whole room. And I had to almost consider sleeping in a different room than Olivia because it, it, it was so bad, guys. Like, I had never smelt such a strong odor from a dog in my entire existence. Like, I could not believe this. And it was so embarrassing. But, yeah, I'll tell you the story. So, my princess <laughs> was not being very, very... And it was like... So, I... So, I was, like, a little worried. And I thought, well, maybe she's sick. Maybe I need to bring her to, like, the vet or something. And I'm like, what are you going to tell him that she farts too much? Like, just wait. Like anybody, you know, you have one bad night, you're farting a lot. And then the next day it's better. You just let the food to just have to digest, get out of your system. Whatever was going on with whatever she ate will get out of her system. But alas, the next morning she looks at me and she has these big red, 
like poppy out things on the corners of her eyes. And I'm like, <gasps> and like, I freaked out. Like they were popping out like cherry eyes. And I was freaking out. I was like, oh my God, I started panicking. I had a panic attack. I, I, I pick up the phone and start calling the vet. Um, and, uh, you know, and, oh man. So I call the vet and we're on the way to the vet. Like Kathy was coming. So, uh, we went together and, you know, she was helping me with everything. Cause I was, you know, I was too stressed to, uh, do this alone or anything. And she had her shift. So she was helping me. We get there. And yes, by the time we get there, her eyes are fine. I mean, they are like totally fine as if nothing had ever happened whatsoever. And the vet just looks at her and says, I don't think we need to do anything. Uh, she's fine. Uh, later that day, she did have a little bit of irritation still on the corners, but she was like literally fine. So we just picked up some Benadryl. I called the vet just to make sure the dose was correct. And then we headed home and she's, you know, fine. <sighs> oh my God. We're switching to air dried food. Okay. I've heard of that stuff. Really? He is like, he is like spoiled. He ate the... Uh, that uh, while I got him in less than five minutes, it's definite different than def def definitely kibble. Huh. Hold on a sec. I have to take my medication late today because I was sleeping in my bed. Like, what? All right. Um, I don't know. I think we're going to have, Bodhi eats his food now because we put the cheese on it. Like you said, Astro. So Pat was like, oh, Bodhi's not eating his food. I was going to sprinkle the um, Parmesan on it. Like Astro said, and she, he did. And he said to me, oh, you're so smart. That really worked. And I'm like, oh, okay, <laughs> I'll take credit for it. <laughs> so I'm just letting you know it works. <laughs> um, um, yeah. Will you eat? I'm not going to even, like, force it. She's really fat, so it's not really a big deal if she doesn't. But, oh, it's like kibble, but it's closer to jerky. Like, of course anybody would prefer something that's not, like, hard cereal, right? I mean, they're not all like, woohoo, it's kibble! Unless they're, like, extremely hungry. Um... So, yeah, um, that's the way it is. Uh, oh, I wanted to say, um, this doll is not, woo -woo. this doll is not, her shoes aren't fitting properly, so we're going to have to find a different pair, I think. But, um, but her, those shoes ended up fitting on, remember the shoes I said? I finally found somebody who really fits the shoes well. So we finally found this doll and the one with the three faces, this doll has three faces and um, under this and it, yes, I named this doll Eve. I finally named her Eve out of three faces of Eve. And I just want to say, because she has three faces um, on her, you can check out the video where I showed her and unboxed her yesterday. Um, but uh, um, this is a thing about her. Um, so I named her Eve because that's of this, uh, movie. It used to be a book, but a movie with Joanne Woodward, uh, playing Eve, multiple personality disorder at the time. That's what they considered it. Um, thank you. She's so sweet. And, um, I got her from Shop Goodwill. Um, but yeah, I but I got upset. You love the movie. I'm going to watch the movie probably today. I got upset because um, I ended up trying to... Uh, if 
find the book. And they're not, like, making the book anymore. And I don't know why. And um, I think that there's a reason why. Because Eve basically was exploited by her psychiatrist to sell her story to them for, like, a dollar per personality. And that's, like, really rude. So, um... I don't know if that's why they're not making the book anymore. So I thought to maybe buy the used book. So I looked for the used book. Did I scratch my face in my sleep? I guess I did. Isn't that interesting? I scratch myself. Don't I look so like rough when I have like a scratch? I'm like, it's like, mm. like I've been like boxing. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so I was really upset that they did not sell the book and, so I decided to maybe buy Dr. Colin Ross's book about the situation with Eve and just watch the movie. Um, and I even looked for it in the public domain and I cannot find it. So I think that's really, um, and it has historical significance. So I don't know what is going on there, but uh, then I started to go on a bender last night and I wanted to buy two books. One was, um, Oh, there's just two uh, books that are in the public domain that I probably could just find for free, though. So, I'm not going to buy them, and I need to get back to writing. <laughs> well, I do want to buy one of them, but we'll see. I don't know. It's $12, so I'll probably get it, like, next, like, in a little while. But, yeah, I'll probably get the one that was $12. They've been wanting that one for a while, so I'll probably buy that one. Like, that one's really interesting to me, so... It's about a uh, deviant, uh, never mind. You know what? It doesn't have anything to do with the show. It's about psychology. Um, maybe book out of print now. Um, yeah, it, it may be, but such a historically significant book, it's kind of shocking that they would put it out of print. But yeah. Oh, I did not see what you said. I'm sorry. The one I tried was Sunday Sundays for Dogs. Okay, where did you get it? Did you get it at, like, um, what store? Did you get it at, like, PetSmart, Petco, online? It's just cool. All right, yeah, so I've been, I need to, I need to slow it down with these. Let's go put these in the bathroom. I am so happy you're feeling better, but I really want you to eat your breakfast. Okay, so that I can know that you're okay with everything. I'm sorry about your diet. I really am. She won't eat without a topper. We Don't worry, we're going to get some cheese for it. I hope that she doesn't have an allergy to Parmesan. Right? Because we need to put something on top that's not going to be super, super, like, caloric. All right, I'm going to go in the other room and this here. This is the other thing I bought. Uh, this is the other thing I bought. Uh, it's called Wags and Wiggles, and you can get this at Five and Below, but I bought it from Amazon. It's got a soft vanilla smell, and it's oatmeal shampoo. Because remember how I threw out all a lot of our shampoos for the dogs because they were, like, outdated. Um, so if they are... What is the word? Uh, expired. Then, so I threw them out and then I got fresh shampoo for my dogs. Um, it's a subscription type. Oh, that's kind of like farmer's dog, right? Like, the subscription. <laughs> Sorry, that's just looking really crazy. All right. I'm double armed. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> Working on my diamond arts, guys. Oops. What happened? <laughs> oh, God. Um. <sighs> Olivia, come get your breakfast. 
breakfast. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. I'll just put this in the. Sorry. The shower. Guys. I'm going to get a store brand that's close to it. Walmart has good ones, but I, I don't really know. Like. <clears throat> yep, your food's right there. Look, you forgot it. It's right here. Yum, yum. Go get it. Well, guys, you know, everything's great, and, you know, <laughs> and, you know, I don't know what's going on because, you know, it's that, and she's yawning because she's stressed out because I didn't put a topper on her food, and she's on a diet, and, you know, so... Yeah, so, anyways, <laughs> yeah, so, uh, I don't really, you know, sometimes they don't speak English, so you have no idea what they're thinking at all. Right, because because this is not a tantrum over not having a topper on her food or anything. Right, let's just ignore. I'm sorry, this is bad. I would I should send this to her vet. Hold on, guys. Hi, what you doing? Can you say hi to me? Oh, hi, Olivia. Hi. Yeah, because, you know. Olivia, go eat your food, baby. It's crazy. Come back. She's not going to eat it because it doesn't have a hot topper on it. This is crazy. Look at this. This is awful. She wouldn't eat it last night. Hold on. I'm going to go... Um, to my friend's house really quick and I'm going to get some Parmesan. I'll be right back. You guys watch Olivia. Eat.
Okay. Oh. Okay, Olivia, I think you'll like this. Okay, from now on, we'll just add a little bit of that on top of it, okay? That makes it taste a little better for you. You don't feel as cheated. Oh, my God. We're having such food issues lately, huh? Food issues. I know, maybe they are. They just don't want to eat it. All right, well, thank you for the suggestion about putting Parmesan on their food, Astral. I don't know if I would be able to get her to eat it otherwise, frankly. We could try a little bit of gravy, too, but I think that the, you know, let me look at the calories on here. Yeah. I can't afford that. This dog is huge. Her vet told us to feed her this. sneeze with all these parmesans. I don't know. Maybe I could put some water on it too and then maybe less make you sneeze a little less. Yeah maybe. We'll get it all squared away. We'll we'll have a whole method. Hey, Olivia, do you need some water on that? Do you want me to? Hold on. All right. Well, that obviously works. Um, you have a picky dog. You put this in on it a little. This is Astral's idea, and it really seems to work good. It's saved two of her dogs because they're not wanting to eat. Don't know why. Well, this is because her food tastes too bland. Blue buffalo. Oh, this is Parmesan. Blue buffalo is the one that she does well on, but she doesn't like it because it's too healthy. It's too bland for her. So she wants to have this on. Uh, a little bit of extra um, Parmesan. 
and that's it. Then she'll eat it. Yeah, I only buy thrift books, Becky. I um, but thank you. Yes. Um. Uh, oh yes, I did see. Really? Okay, I'll check. That's a good price. I will buy it. Um, if it is. Um. I was interested because my doll has three faces and I named her that. And I was like, okay. Do you feel better? You should eat more often. I think, I think you should eat healthier more often, both of us. Do you want to go on a walk today? Do you want to go for a walk? Both of us go for a walk because today is the day we do exercising. And then we do it tomorrow too. We do exercising if it's good weather. Okay, you want to do exercising? Okay, I'm fine. I have a wheelchair. I've got, we can let you out in the playground. Yeah, if there's no kids there. Okay. Oh, no, don't worry. I understand. Thank you for telling me. Um, I haven't even gotten my day started. I still have to brush my teeth and... Um, get my shoes on. <laughs> Go out. Sometimes, do you guys ever, like, struggle to, like, I don't know, like, get going in the morning? Yeah, she's looking outside. Uh, I am going to um, put um, her flea and tick stuff on her. Not today, because she's been having allergies probably later this week, give her a few days to recoup from that. And then, you know, and then, yeah, we'll do the flea and tick stuff because it is warm now. So they're going to start coming out again. Um, we had another snow and now they're going to start coming out. So a little reminder for everybody, flea and tick. Um, again, thank you. I love your suggestions. Okay. When they're good. And this particular suggestion really saves us because she needs to be able to eat her food. Um, the other food she had she was giving her massive quantities of flatulence. And we've had to switch over, but she doesn't like the more healthy tasting food. So, so now we're going to just add a little bit of cheese to stuff. So I'm going to go buy some Parmesan. Um, from the store today, maybe a little bit of gravy in case, um, case, and, uh, let me see if I can find some socks. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, I have so many books right now though. There's just like, oh, there's just not enough time in the day because I have to be writing my story. There's so many things I need to be doing to better myself. And it's just so overwhelming sometimes. Um, Cause like, like I need to be exercising. I said, I was going to do that today. I was going to go out. I was going to walk with my dog. Um, I take my wheelchair because if I can't walk that far, I still keep exercising. We park it there and both of us walk and roll. And then I was like, Whew, right. Um, where's my shoes? Gotta get my other shoes missing. Guys, this is like me in real time. Like, oh man, I love Doc Martens. I really do. They're not comfortable, but they are sturdy. And they last like forever. These were a gift. I can't usually afford them because I always buy other stuff. But anyway, we all have choices in life, right? <laughs> I was asked if, what I want for my birthday, and I was like, Doc Martens. And they're so pretty. They're like, I love them. You want to go out? Want to go peepees outside? Go for a walk? Okay. Um... Just look at, these are cute. They have little guinea pigs on them. 
They're guinea pig socks, guys. You can't even make this up. How adorable is that, guinea pigs? <laughs> Come on, that's cute. I got those from Target. They're like super old, as, but I still love them. I, you know that one article of clothing you can't quite get rid of? <laughs> All right. I will see you guys later. Thank you for coming to my live. Um, not very interesting, just sort of a little bit of what my morning is like. I'm taking her out potty. We're going to just like walk around the complex a little bit, say hi to a few neighbors and just get some exercise and some air. Then I'm going to come back. Hopefully Pat will be around and then him and I will probably go out and get some tacos. I'll come back and I'll write and I'll write and I write. Um, oops, she's got to go. I will see you all later. Bye. Thank you, mods. You guys are awesome. Thank you for the suggestion, Becky, on the books. Thank you for the suggestion on the food. Oh, Joey, I missed you. Joey, look what I can do. I'm sorry I missed you. Bye, everybody.